guys, welcome back. Jerry once again here at Hilltop Firearms Training Center, Dover, Tennessee. Thank you for watching. Well, I am on the range today with the Black Spider M0129 Red Dot Optic. This little guy has been out for a while, but this is the first time I've had the opportunity to actually get my hands on one. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, uh, you are looking at one very unique little optic. Let's take a look at uh, some of the features. This thing has been out for a while, but I wanted to kind of give you my perspective of maybe why you may want to actually add one of these to your collection. Number one, price point. As of the filming of this video, it is 2016, the month of January. It's actually kind of cold out here. Uh, you're looking at a price point on the Black Spider Optics website of $179. That is incredible. But if you go online and do some searching, you can actually find this optic at a very, very much lower price point, sometimes as low as like $159, $139, depending on where you are shopping. I want to tell you just a few things about what really stood out to me on this particular optic. First of all, one of the things that I really like about it, you have a 20 millimeter objective, okay? It comes already with a very well, very nicely machined billet aluminum mount. Now this is set up for if you're running, say, an AR-15, it is going to give you a true co-witness. Co-witness, of course, is basically when you are lining up your irons, you see the dot basically sitting, looks what it would appear like a little apple sitting on a fence post. So on your front sight post, you have this little dot just floating right there. Once you get your, uh, say if you do have, say, deployable sights such as these flip-ups, magpuls, once you get everything zeroed, I fold them down and just use the dot. Okay, so some of the neat things that I think sort of stand out is, of course, you've got a very uh, easy-to-use series of controls. You have, the, of course, the power on button, and then you can control the intensity of the dot simply by pushing the up or down arrow. But there's also something I think is really cool, especially for, once again, a sight at this price point. It has not only a manual setting, but an automatic. Now, the automatic uses this very unique ambient light sensor. So, when you're out, say, on a very bright day, and you're in the uh, auto mode, the ambient light sensor detects how bright it is outside and adjusts the dot accordingly. That is pretty cool right there. So I've, I've been testing this and it's really awesome because um, it was, well, it's actually kind of overcast right now, but earlier it was a little bit of sun and I noticed the brighter it was, the brighter the dot became. Now that the, the, the sun is sort of being uh, masked under the clouds, the dot has decreased slightly. Really cool. Now there is one thing that some of you uh, tactical operators may not like about this site, so I'm just gonna run it by you. It does in fact have a auto off feature. So when you have run this site for, you know, consecutively for say two hours, it will automatically power down to conserve battery power. Some people don't like that, and I understand that. Uh, your higher end optics, like your aim points and say the new MRO Trigicon, basically how those things are designed is you turn them on and you leave them on. And they can conserve power for years. Some optics out there are three to five year battery life. This little guy here, once again though, you're looking at a, a triple A battery powering a very durable, well-made little optic. So is that a big deal? Depending on what you do for a living, okay? Uh, you know, some guys say, well, I don't want it to turn off. I want it to stay on and then go off if I turn it off. Eh, well, whatever. I think it's a very nice little optic at an extremely affordable price. You know, I've said this before. Um, is sometimes we try to sacrifice, we save a few dollars and we buy a less than standard product. I see that very often here on the range. I'll get people come up and I'll see them on the range and I'll look at their optics and you know about an hour later they come walking up and I'll be like, hey, what's going on? Oh, my lens fell out. Well, you paid $29, okay? And it, <laughs> so what do you expect? Um, if you're looking for a, a, a really well-made optic, and I'm gonna tell you, I have been online watching a lot of these videos on this very optic. There are dudes out there that are abusing these things, beating them, slamming them against trees, throwing them, and they hold zero. 
check it out guys if you're looking for something that won't break the bank but also seems to be extremely well made check out black spider optics heck we're gonna go back to do a little more shooting once again thank you for watching we will see you soon on the range